Hi everyone, I'm going to make an original page in my mixed media notebook and it's kind of idea that I had and I'm not sure yet how I'm going to accomplish it so maybe I'll uh, stumble uh, through this video. I've got this page that I just uh, split it uh, with this curvy uh, line and I also have a line here now I'm I have some kind of image in in my head of a tree and uh, this is supposed to be the ground and I want to play with the parts of uh, this page now this is a baking sheet or cookie sheet and what's good about it is that it's transparent so I can trace these lines and also I'm going to work on it uh, with uh, a glue gun so I'm tracing uh, this line here and this line here and the size of my page just so I can go back and know where to put everything just like this so uh, this is the beginning of a template uh, because i want to uh, use this and cut through uh, pages that i have now i'm going to use scrapbook paper because i've accum accumulated a lot of uh, scrapbook paper and I'm not doing albums so I really need to start using it and you can use whatever you have painty papers uh, that you made whatever you want to use I've also done something uh, like this that I will show you later with uh, wallpaper samples but wallpaper samples not everybody has so it, there wasn't any point of uh, filming it so now I'm going to use a scrapbook paper and I've picked these pages uh, a big advantage with uh, scrapbook uh, papers uh, is that they are uh, already coordinated you are taking one pack and it will be most, most of the time all the pages will be color coordinated like these two are from this pack and you also sometimes you also get all kinds of embellishments with it so it's easier to work like that but uh, not uh, i i don't always use it so uh, i want uh, the this blue paper to go on this side and the green paper on this side of the curvy line and i have this uh, left over that is going to be the ground so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a this is i am every everyone calls it differently a graphite paper copy paper tracing paper i'm just going to put it Uh, here I'm gonna take this one first and I need to align the copy paper with my page like so kind of, mess, of messy but uh, somehow I'll manage and I didn't put I'll just move my no mixed media notebook for a uh, head for this time because I can't work like that and I don't have enough space here so let's see I'm aligning this copy paper tracing paper graphite paper 
with my scrapbook a paper underneath and now my template and now I can trace this curvy line like so that's the blue piece that I want for my page here it is moving this aside going to cut it Okay, one piece is here, moving this aside, and now I want the green piece. And let's see, let's go like this, and again, I need to align the pieces only this time, it would be for this side corner to corner and my template and again So now I've got the green piece. It's kind of uh, assembling a quilt. So next I need to do the piece that I want for the ground. Now this is quite dark and it won't be seen uh, with the copy paper. So what I'm doing, I'm flipping it over. Again, aligning just so I will see what I'm doing. Yeah, aligning this corner here. I hope I'm in frame, I'll try to move a little bit. And now the template, I'm flipping it over because this is the uh, other side. And again, I need to align it. And now I'm tracing this part so here is the beginning of assembling the background I am moving aside all the <laughs> leftover pieces not enough space as I said and here we go the pieces for this page yeah this is how it's supposed to go and I have to trim it here But basically, this is the beginning of our background. I'm going to glue this down. I'm going to work on it more. This is, as I said, only the beginning. Now, I'm moving this aside because now I want to show you uh, where all this <laughs> ID started. I'm moving this and I'm going back to my template. 
and I finally managed to find a glue gun that is uh, not dripping and doing a, a finer lines uh, with the glue so I had to test it I picked it up in my on my vacation and I was in Kiev in the Ukraine and that's the one I found I didn't know if it will work but it does work and my idea was that maybe I can make embellishments and te uh, textures with the glue gun on top of a baking sheet and then lift it off and I've done uh, this just to try it and it worked so what I'm planning to do and I forgot to hit my, my glue gun I want to make some kind of a tree here so that's is that's going to be the beginning of my tree and I'm going to do some a uh, forgot the name I will remember in a minute some branches and more branches and just play around and I'm going to go uh, over this with the glue gun that I'm hoping will hit uh, soon so I'll just uh, be able to show you what I'm doing I'll only film part of it because it's going to take me some time uh, to do whole, the whole thing and after it dries I'm I want to either a uh, <clears throat> gesso it and paint it on top of the paper and then peel it or peel it and then paint it haven't uh, figured it out yet so this is the beginning of my tree and let's I'll take more uh, I need more uh, glue for my glue gun because I can already see this won't uh, this won't be enough so let's see yeah I'll I'll demonstrate first uh, how I've done the flower it's just like this it was just to test the glue gun and the center I went hole like this and then I went around the shape and when it it dried I took a very fine uh, scissors uh, nail scissors and trimmed a uh, excess that I didn't like almost like how I have showed you in another video how I make uh, stencils from glue gun so this needs to dry and then you lift off the little strings and basically this is it that's how i've created it, this flower and when i didn't want something or i wanted to take one of the strings i just went in with the scissors and trimmed whatever i wanted so i'm thinking i can uh, color it paint it and use it in other projects and make more uh, flowers like that or whatever you want to make so that was the idea and behind uh, making this tree so I thought it would be nice to make a tree from a, a hot glue so as you can see I move very easily in making like so and when it's dry I'm going to peel it from the baking sheet so I'm going to uh, continue doing this and when it's dry I'll be back I'm back so the pieces here are glued to my page and I've got my tree and when you want it to be more raised you just continue and in, in putting in down more and more glue on top of what you've got 
and of course you need to remove the strings and basically this is the tree now there are several ways to go about it uh, about <laughs> painting it you can gesso it uh, with black gesso if you have it you can use a white gesso if you have it and then uh, just paint it with whatever color you want and i'm uh, for so i will the uh, it will speed uh, things. I'm going to use a black spray pa a paint uh, and I'm going to take it outside. I can't do it uh, inside here. It's smelly and the fumes are horrible. And so I'm going to spray it and then lift it from the baking sheet. And another, uh, if you do have this I buy them from the cheap store, but someone told me that they are not cheap in other places. But uh, if you do have this, and I'm going to try, uh, there is a trick uh, in using um, spray cans on texture. If you are spraying this from uh, like this, and then take a white spray paint, from this side and spray it like this then you will have more dimensionality now I'm not an expert on spray cans and <laughs> graffiti but I'm, I'm going to try it of course it doesn't have to be black and white you can vary a uh, what uh, if you are going to try this technique uh, you can do whatever colors you want and even if you are going to paint this with gesso and acrylics Again, you can use more than one uh, color, do whatever you like. And if you want more dimensionality, my advice is to go with darker color on one side and a lighter color on the other side. So I'm going to take this outside and spray it and then I'll come back. I'm back so my tree is <laughs> my paint on the tree is drying and I want to continue working on my background and first of all I want to darken the edges I'm taking a makeup sponge and I've, I've got here Momento Nautical Blue and I'm just dabbing it and adding I want my edges darker and to go, not only the edges I'm also uh, if you can see going in a little bit especially on the corner like so I'm trying to uh, go inside to drag it a little bit in don't know how much uh, you can see it or but I'm trying to for it to go in without any harsh uh, lines so this is a uh, for this side and now I'm using this is windflower and I've got this green dark green which I'm now going to do the same thing on this side Again, I'm trying 
to also go a little bit in and just add to the whole thing. And now I want to stamp a little bit and I at, at first I thought I will uh, ink with the two uh, stamp with the two uh, of these but I'm thinking now I'm going with brown and uh, that it will connect with this piece I have here I'm going to use uh, the distress this, this ink will not stain and first of all I want some let's see handwritten uh, script that I'm going to stamp randomly like so still want more details in my background and what do I want <laughs> a good question uh, I'm thinking some kind of leaves here just random again This piece I want to find something else I don't want leaves here so let's see what I've got it can be nice and as you see I haven't figured it out completely so do I want flowers do I want hearts butterflies of course butterflies we really need butterflies here so let's see what kind of a butterfly do I want and I don't want it to overwhelm my background and so let's try this one I'll try it uh, here first, yeah, I can work with this one. So uh, this is more what I thought and I really like it. So I'm going to bring in the tree. Drum roll please. <laughs> I'm joking. But I really like what uh, came out of my tree. Although I now see I still have strings that I need to get rid of. But here is my tree my lovely lovely tree i'm so excited about it so as you can see i've got black from one side and the white from the other side and 
all I've got to do now is just glue it down to my page and I'm going to use this is again from my cheap store local brand it says that it's for <laughs> everything and I'm guessing it's like the uh, glue uh, E6000 uh, uh, because of the smelly how smelly it is so I'm just going to put down glue on the uh, back side of my tree I'm so excited about it it turned out so well more than I expected this is a beginning of a beautiful friendship I'm gonna make lots and lots of glue gun trees I can see it already. And all because I found a glue gun that I can work with. Oh, this is smelly. The fumes are horrible. I'm uh, using it only because it has a really thin nozzle and it's just easier to put it on all the little details of my tree. Otherwise I'd use another not smelly glue. Here we go. Oops, not in place. A little bit here. I'll probably, maybe I'll have to trim it a little bit on top. No, it seems like it settles quite nicely. And well, basically, this is it. That's my tree, that's my page needs a little bit more glue here and I'm thinking I'm just going to put something heavy until this is all in place and dry but that's my page I hope you liked it I hope you'll experiment with this uh, glue gun technique and thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now